Hey Comic Impact, we're here at Galaxy of Comics with Richard Starkings. Hey there. Hey, you got a new book coming out, or that like, came out. It came out. You want to tell us about it? Uh, it's called Elephant Men, Man and Elephant Man. Uh, and you read it, you tell people about it. Yeah. I read it, perfect jumping on point. If you remember, if you listen to our podcast, number 30 was my pick of the week. And does this take place right after 30? Uh, if you like. Okay. It comes between issues 30 and 31, so I guess it does, isn't it? Oh, yeah. But it's not number 31, that's why I was That's curious. right. And well, go on. what's the premise behind Elephant Man for someone that has never read it? The premise behind the whole series? Yeah. Uh, the human-animal hybrids. They um, were designed to fight a war between Africa and China. It's 200 years in the future. And uh, <clears throat> ultimately, they're defeated, rehabilitated, and now they must live amongst us. And they're so all yeah. I've heard it before. Yeah. I think I've said it before, also. I'm sure. So, what can people expect from Elephant Man now, after the big reveal of one of our main characters being human for a couple hours, days? Uh, what happens next? I should keep drawing, then I'll remember. Um, yeah, there's uh, actually in that issue there's a uh, there's a murder. There's a, one of the elephant men has been savagely uh, murdered, and one of his tusks hacked off. And Hip investigates that story, and it sort of impacts the other elephant men. <clears throat> and it's actually we don't find out. Uh, I can't really tell you that. Oh. Uh, what else happens? There's more intrigue with Panya, Sahara's double. Okay. There's uh, more intrigue with the Silencer and Serengeti. And in fact, what I wanted to do in this sort of little mini-series, because as you said, Man and Elephant Man is a jumping on point, um, I really wanted to revisit all of the characters and move their stories along at the same time. Um, so you'll see Horn, you'll see uh, the third issue is actually uh, Ebony the Barbarian, Savage Sword of Elephant Man. Nice. Uh, can't really tell you much about that. Uh, but everything is related to that first issue where Hip uh, um, is not what he seems to be. Can't tell you more than that. People haven't read it yet. Yeah, okay. Just try and get some clues. You also did a cover. What I did that? a cover. That's because uh, Moritat agreed to do the cover and then uh, he drew me instead of Hip and said, uh, well, you drew the, drew the cover. So I did. What was that like? Uh, it was um, it was a lot easier than I thought it would be. And it is an homage to a classic Spirit cover. Um, you know, I'd love to be working on the Spirit, but obviously it's been canceled. Everybody else on Elephant Men has worked on the Spirit. So I've missed my chance. Uh, but um, I'm used to drawing the characters now at shows, so. Uh, it wasn't such a big jump to draw the cover, and Boo Cook colored it, and he made it look like I was capable, so. Yeah, you've got talent. You've been sketching all day. Thank you. Um, can someone pick up 31 after reading this one? Yes. Yeah, I mean, anybody can pick up any issue. Right. I mean, I always, you know, I was taught the old school Marvel way, which is <clears throat> every issue is a first issue for somebody. So we always have a recap page on the inside front cover, and, and I always... Um, write it in such a way that if you if you haven't read Elephant Man before, you can get a good idea about what's going on. Right. And I love the letter page that you did. In the Thank back you. Of this one. Thank you. Explain readers what's been going on. Yep. And retailers also. And we got one response from retailers. I offered to send uh, uh, free issues of the book to retailers, and we did get one response. But retailers, if you're out there, write to me via Facebook or Richard at Comicraft.com. We will send a Elephant Man starter pack for your store. Sounds good. What can we expect two and three of the mini? Uh, two, yeah, issue 31, which is the second part, is uh, early, what month are we in? April. Early May, yep. and then um, mid June is 32. Okay. And then we have an issue by Shaky Kane, who is the uh, artist on Bulletproof Coffin. It's a one-shot, it's very creepy. It is actually related to Man and Elephant Man, but again, I can't tell you how it's related. Um, and then we have a beautiful two-part 
uh, story, which is a war toy story. We actually were going to do a separate miniseries, but we decided instead to keep it in the numbering um, because retailers got confused about the miniseries and so forth. So uh, Yvette is back, and um, it's not good for Hip. It's Ooh. not good for Horn. And the you know the the cover line on issue thirty four is Yvette is alive, and the cover line on thirty five is Hip Flask is dead. It just broke my heart. I hope you're kidding. <laughs> I hope that's just a teaser to get people to read it. Well, hopefully they will read it. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're it's welcome. Great. I told you I was going to be short and pain with. All right. He wasn't prepared. No, I wasn't. I never am. <laughs> <laughs>